Yep. And of course, our Prost player here to the top left is Genius for Izubu. And his opponent starting to the bottom right in uh, blue is the player in the lead. Starting for CG Enters, we have Trust, successful on Daybreak. Yep. And you know, this is a, a, one of our newer maps. Um, this is a Heart of the Swarm map, in fact, that's been modified because there's no platform rock towers, for example. In but uh, this is a cool map. I, I think it's not my favorite map, but it's a change and I like it. I've been playing a lot of this one recently, so I have some experience on this map. I'm still thinking a little bit about the last game, and for Genius, this must have been one of those heartbreaking moments. At first, everything kind of went right. Even when he didn't see the Army of Trust in the first fight moving down, yeah. he was still able to do so much damage because Trust moved back for a second, gave Genius the opportunity to position himself, and then you have the game. You even said that Genius might have just decided to go, or uh, could have decided to be a lot more aggressive. Right. Trying to finish the game. But he was like, no, I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to take my fourth base. I'm going to play a safe exactly. game here. And then he started his additional tag. He went into Dark Shrine that he never really used. And ah, for Genius, this must be one of those games where I just look at it like, how did that happen? Yeah, it's, it's frustrating. And the thing about late game PvP is, sometimes when you try to play safe, uh, like Genius did, and try to, to go even later, try to expand the PvP, that can actually be unsafe. You give your opponent a chance to max, even if you have a better bank, you can't spend that bank of PvP, you can't warp in Colossi by pressing W and then spamming out a bunch of Colossi with your bank, that just doesn't work. So, Genius just did not have the production. And Trust actually hides a probe in his base here. Genius checked his natural, but did not check his main base, so Trust has this hidden probe that could become a problem. Game number two here. Yeah. Any way he wants it to be, just as a scout, that's annoying, or as a gas deal, which is a little bit too late here. Or maybe even later on, if it isn't scouted, he can put down that forward pylon and try to go for four gate. We've seen yeah. the game is being decided by something like a hidden probe so often already. You can't just hide it and then you wait. Yeah. And if your opponent scouts it, you're like, okay, cool, so I get a free scout, else. it's yep. nice. And if then nothing happens, you can at some point just say, okay, well, my core is ready. I could actually just try to go for it. Yeah. I I wonder what Trust is going to do. Looking at his Chrono Energy, he's, he just Chrono boosted both his Gateway and his Cyber Core, so it's unlikely he's going to try to do this. I think he's going to try to just see what, what sort of tech Genius is getting, because the Stargate play threw him off a little bit last game, I feel. And one of Genius' strengths is his unpredictability, and if you can see exactly what he's doing, he just becomes that much weaker of an opponent. I'm also wondering how much pressure this is for Genius now. If he loses this game, he's suddenly down in Code B. Yeah, where very few players are actually yeah. in by. And you look at the resources, man. He could actually add the gates. One, uh, two. two. Here we go. He's adding three th gates in the There main. it is. Here we go. I can't believe he's going to do this. He is able to uh, make sure that the scout is not going to see too much. Here comes the Stargate for Genius oh, once wow. again. He's going for the same build, and we have the probe still in the base. The pylon is going to be dropped very soon. Warp gate research not done just yet for Trust. Just look at the production tab, guys. This could be the death of Genius, guys. And the thing is, Genius has done this to so many people in the GSL in the past. He's done all-ins to people, knock them out of the tournament. And now he's going to face, uh, in some regards, a taste of his own medicine here. Let's just be honest here for a second. If he does not see this pylon, I don't think he can stop this. No, there's absolutely That's no nothing. way. He has two gateways against four gates. There is no chance that he will make use of that yeah, that star gate in time. Yeah, and you, with the pressure here, he's going to bait more sentries potentially. If Trust makes more sentries, that's going to be there even we less go. useful. Another sentry, and he's going for the first Phoenix. He doesn't have enough. Warp gate research isn't done just yet. Trust is ready. Oh, wow. This could not... This is the end of genius. Yeah. If, if he holds this somehow... It'll be a miracle, that's for sure. Stalkers no go way. right for that sentry, no targets it down, the Stalker gets in, that's and Genius it. is out, man. He's gonna go down to Code B, probes off the line, but it doesn't matter. As long as Trust Micros like an Icy Cup D player, he should be okay. He can warp in a round of Zealots now if he wants to. Uh, that's all that he needs at this point, and here we go. Zealots and Stalkers to finish things off. The Harvest account already better for Trust. He's taking a massive lead here. Those few Phoenixes are not gonna change anything. This one hidden probe by Trust, it wins him the game. Genius with two gates into Stargate just does not have the numbers to push this back. No. Genius micros the best he can, but it just doesn't matter. He can actually fight with the Zealots now, he does. The last of the probes go down, and Genius finds himself all in, cheesed out of the GSL BlizzCon champion.
Will he requalify? That leaves left to be known. G G Genius is out. It's kind of hard to believe, man. This just happened. We watched it. Trust with a 2-0 Genius is in code B. After he lost in the up and downs, he had to play the first round, and now he's in code B. Just look at Trust here. That guy, he just made a bit of a splash in the code A qualifier. Was able to take out Lucky with the 2-1 in the finals, and now he just 2-0 Genius. Yeah, really nicely done. It just, I mean, taking a risk in game number two, but you're ahead. Why not? If you're ahead in a series and you get that probe in there like that, this is a map where the base is big enough and there's a big enough edge to where you can actually get away with that. I mean, I've done to people on the ladder, people have done to me on the ladder. You have to scout this, and the one thing that Trust did also in the first game, he always sent probes out and scouted exactly where could Genius hide something. Well, it doesn't matter if it's a forward pile and some proxy gates or a probe. He always scouted, and his scouting was just much better. So right now, we have the first game done. Yeah, Genius is out, man. That's the result. True. New guy takes out Lucky, takes out Genius. Yeah. Or not True Trust, sorry. Don't get those players confused. Well played. Well and played congratulations. Indeed. Able to move on to the second round. And that's uh, a goal that these two uh, gentlemen are aiming for as well. Byung and Finale in our second match today. Yep. Whirlwind, Cloud Kingdom, Belshir, Vestige are our three maps. Finale, I would say, is the foreign fan favorite. Byung, on the other hand, the Korean fan favorite. In fact, his uh, entourage of fangirls, not even here today, they must have a cold as well. Everybody's getting sick in here right now because we had a warm spell and then we had a really cold spell. That can actually make people get sick and affect your sinuses. Um, but regardless of the temperatures here, things are getting a little bit heated in this series of Protoss versus Terran. Yeah, and game number one is going to be on Whirlwind, as you can see. The map is already loading, so we're going to find out who takes the first game. TVP, after we just saw a mirror match, let's see if uh, the Casper player is able to take it. Uh, if we have MVP finale, MVP, a team that does so well, did so well in the last season. Those guys are on a roll. 